Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told the distance between Alan's home and his work office is m miles. The average speed that he travels is 38 miles per hour. And the time we're marking by t. Now, which equation out of these represents the time it will take for Alan to drive home. Okay, so we have to use these in the form distance equals speed times time. This is always true. Um, and this is not just the case for Alan. This is something you should remember in general. Distance equals speed times time. All right, if you're going 60 miles per hour times one hour, 60 times one is 60. Doing that for two hours, 120 miles. 120 miles. So in this case, we have our three. We can plug them into this equation and get one of these. Okay, so we have distance with the m is equal to speed, 38, times t, time. And you notice, this doesn't look like any of them. That's because we want, it in ter we want t in terms of everything else. Right, we're modeling t means we want to be able to find t if we know m. So what we can do with that is divide by 38. All right, t is equal to m over 38. And I'm actually noticing the distance between Alan's home and his work office is m miles. We're taking the time it takes for him to drive to work and back home. So to work is m miles, back home is m miles. So the total distance is m plus m. So it's 2m. It doesn't actually change anything in terms of the concept. We just have to make sure to have a 2m in there. Okay, so t is equal to 2m over 38. It still doesn't look like anything. That's because these can be both div divided by 2. To make it a little bit more simple, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So t equals m divided by 38 divided by 2 is 19. Again, that's equal to t. This is our final equation, and this lines up with c. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.